how to capture your screen how do you capture your screen so you want to know how to capture your screen and record your screen in some form of video format now in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you can capture or record your screen and some of the best settings for beginners now you probably want to record your screen or you want to record your monitor while playing games or you want to take something and show your screen or you want to know how to capture your screen in a video or maybe you are a youtube you are a youtuber and you have a youtube channel and you want to teach something online now if you are uh, you fall in between any of these uh, examples or anything in between then i've got you now in this video i'm going to show you how to use a, a tool called obs which is free so that you can be able to capture or record your screen now uh, first things first you have to download obs studio obs is free for open source so it's obvious it's available for windows for mac and even for linux so just come into obs obs online and download obs for free i'll try and link below if you can now if you have already obs studio when you get into obs to look something like this now it is so very simple now i'm going to, when you first open it it might look a bit overwhelming but it's not obviously it's so simple for anybody to use to record or capture their 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 windows or their display or their monitors and also record their voices like right now i'm using obs to record this particular video tutorial for you and i hope you're liking it and if you are please remember to subscribe and hit the like the notification button all right so let me just break down to you how easy it is to use obs now the first things first uh, this window is uh, the output window. So right now OBS is showing you OBS itself because that is what it's being shown on my monitor right now. Now the upper bar is of course some settings uh, that you can do around uh, OBS. I'm going to show you all about that. Now on my lower, on the lower left corner are the scenes and then the next one are the sources. And then the next column is the audio mixer where you set your audios and then the next column are the same transitions and the final column on the bottom right corner are the controls so that's the generally what obs studio is all about now let's get jump into it and talk about each of these uh, parts of obs studio now the first one of course the output i'm not going to talk about output output is obvious it's so yeah, obvious it shows you what obvious is recording right now now let's jump into scenes now scenes also not so important but you can set up scenes the way you want so let's jump to scenes and see so i'm on scenes here right now you if you want to add a scene you can right click on that and then just click on add and add any scene that you want and just click ok and it will come here as a scene now i have two scenes uh, powerpoint and scenes now scenes are just what you want the scenes that you're going to use uh, to uh, capture the particular video you want. Not so important, so you don't have even to set up that. The next column is the most important column in OBS Studio. Now it's called Sources. So now let's jump into Sources. Now the first time you log into OBS Studio, download and install your OBS Studio, this part is probably going to be blank. Now you want to add some sources. Now what, what, what does what the OBS mean by sources? Sources are what OBS is going to show on the final video for example if this is my what i want obvious to show then this is going to be my source the powerpoint presentation is my source now if this is what i want to show then this uh, web browse page is my source i hope you got that so that is what we mean by source so i'm back into obs so how do you add a source now of course there's so many sources let's look at all the sources that we have First of all, there are two ways to add a source. You can either right click here and add a source, or you can just click on this plus button down here and add a source. Okay, but I think the easiest one is just right click here, then click add a source. Now, of course, there are three main ones that we're going to use. Basically, there are two. For those who are recording games uh, that they're playing, you can use game capture here. Let's click on game capture. But for most of us, just want to record something on our screen, let's click on display capture. Then it's going to come here, then just click on OK. 
and then you have your display. Now display card is going to contain anything that you show on your screen, be it PowerPoint, be it Word document, being a web browser page. That is a most that is what most people are going to use for their settings. Now, how do does OBS know which one you're using? Let's say, for example, I had game settings here. So let's just click on game, game capture. Let's click on OK. Uh, of course, here you can choose the mode, but the default settings are always OK. So let's click OK there, and then I have games added here. So right now, the game capture is the one that is active. But remember, it's not a game capture. This is a display capture. So I'm just going to click on display capture and obvious is going to continue to capture my display so how do you you can, you can either click on it like that to navigate through the one you want or you can use this uh top or down arrows to navigate which one you want so that's all about sources now the next column is the audio or the mixer which is also important now there's the desktop, desktop audio and then there's the mic audio for me i normally um, disable the desktop audio because i don't want obvious to take my desktop audio i wanted to take my mic audio i'm using a mic right now to record this and you can see this place is moving to show how i when and how i talk so of course for the default setting of that mic is always just okay just leave it like like that but if you want to do more settings just come here on this uh, settings uh symbol here or icon click on that and then you can always click on filters so that you can add more settings now let me just talk about one thing on settings here there's something called noise suppression noise suppression is when you want to suppress external noise so how do you do that you just come here click on add and then you come on noise suppression here okay so just click on noise suppression now when you click on noise suppression you're going to bring something like this uh for as a rule of thumb always put noise suppression at negative 30 de decibels okay that only suppresses noise so well. just put it at negative 30 decibels and then just click on close and you have done your settings for noise suppression so that you suppress any external noise that might affect your audio that's all about audio mixing now the next column is the scene transitions which you're not going to tackle because that only is as it is by default the final column is a control so which is also important for those who are streaming of course you're going to use this button to stream now once you open your obvious student you want to start recording the next button here will be will state start recording that's what you click on now for me it's written stop recording because i'm recording right now to speak so if i click on stop recording it's going to stop recording my audio and my video but for you when you start operating fast it will write start recording so you're going to click on start recording to start recording your video and audio now this audio mode here not so important then the settings here you're going to talk about then of course exit is self-explanatory now there is settings here you can either access settings here or you can come to this bar on top here let's click on file and then settings like that so here i'm going to talk about very very few things which is, which is important now for the general just leave it the way they are if you want to change the language of course it's the first part you can always change it to language whatever language you prefer if you want to change the theme you can change it to whatever theme you want not so important output just keep the way they are the rest of the settings the way they are uh, let's just jump to what's important output here now, output is so so important now output is going to show you the recording path on which path your recordings are going to go to now, you can always change this right i can't change it because i'm using it as we, as we speak but you're going to just come here and browse and change where you want all your videos to go to and finally on this part output which is so important i want you to note this the recording format so remember, there's so many video recording format. Which format do you want? Now, mostly people and most uh, software as a tools prefer MP4. So always make sure that this, this part is picked or selected with MP4 and not any other recording video format. All right. Now, I'm not going to go through any of these. Just leave them the way they are. It's as good as it comes. Okay. Now, this warning, don't, don't, don't uh, worry about this warning so much. It just works perfectly all right so that's it about uh, uh recording your screen or capturing your screen using obs again obs is a free free uh video or monitor or window cap capture uh tool you can just download it for either mac or windows uh, the desktop and then you start using it immediately now if you got some value please comment with a thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value. Bye bye for now.